Joe's gonna kill you. 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 I don't give a fuck how annoyed you were of that intro, okay? I don't care. Joe is gonna fucking kill you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night Raw review of January 30th, 2017, 24 hours after the Royal Rumble. I ain't gonna lie. This show was decent. It was decent. It wasn't the best. Last time Raw was the best to me was the night I went to it back in November. So, ever since then, Raw has been decent to shit. Okay, so, never reached higher than ever before. So, tonight's episode. Now, look, the reason why I'm uploading this today on Tuesday, I legit fell asleep after the Seth Rollins and Stephanie McMahon segment. I was legit tired, okay? Like, I fell asleep around 1 o'clock because I was watching a review. I fell asleep around then. I woke up at 7 o'clock. My teeth was painting me. All sorts of garbage, right? I was up all day. And then, when it got to Monday Night Raw, I'm like, I gotta stay up and do a review. I tried so hard. And then, you know when it's bad when you go lie down in your bed and you're tired. You know that's bad. because Not because of Rob. I was enjoying what I was watching a little bit. It's just that I was really exhausted for some reason. I legit just went on my bed. I was tweeting. And then, the second I turned around facing my wall on my bed, I fell asleep. I woke up. I, I'm watching the replay. And I see Brock Lesnar in the ring. So, I'll, uh, so actually... A lot of shit was going down, okay? A lot of, lot of shit. Alright. So, I'm on Wrestling Inc. right now. Let's get this going. We were live in Laredo, Texas for Monday Night Raw. The road to WrestleMania officially begins. We start the show off with Kevin Owens, the Universal Champion, and the U.S. Champion, Jericho. They're talking about what happened last night. How Jericho... Uh, was being hung over the, the hung over the ring in that shark cage and Owens retaining the title how he's proud of proving everyone including McFoley wrong saying that he always had to stack decks the uh, he, had, he always had to stack deck against him you know and he was able to prove everyone wrong and get the job done and he was thanking Jericho for it the second Jericho opened his mouth about being the longest uh, competitor in the Royal Rumble match, you know, four to five hours, and you know, lasting 61 minutes, being the Iron Man, ma even though he was the Iron Man of the match. Honestly, you were motherfucking sleeping and was outside the ring. If that counts being ah man, and I don't know what does. Okay, so that's how I see it. Braun Strowman comes to the ring. There was no mention of Braun Strowman's help uh, by Owens. He comes to the ring. He's like, look, um, bro, where my title shot at? Owens is like, how the fuck you mean? What do you mean a title shot? Um, I think you for you forgot, didn't you? You said that I will get a title shot if you don't believe me. I got footage. Now I thought Braun Strowman had some undercover uh, undercover footage where like him and Owens were talking about you know screwing over Roman Reigns and getting the job done, right? No, it was that segment heading into that six-man tag about if we take out Roman Reigns, you are next in line for the championship. And then Braun Strowman, what he said in that video was, be careful what you wish for. And then now, he's like, I want my title shot. And Kevin was like, that was Photoshop. The fuck you mean? I, I didn't know. What? What, what, what do you mean? He's like, look, bro. You're going to give me my title shot tonight or I'm going to break your ass in half. 
Mick Foley comes out wearing fucking green flannel suit, I guess. And he's like, he doesn't appreciate what Braun did last night, but Owens did promise him a title shot. So, Kevin Owens is ranting about how he went through hell. Foley should know about going through hell. But Foley was like, look, man, I know you went through hell, but in the end, you owed, you said you owe him a title shot. So, live in Laredo, Texas, with his cheap pop, which doesn't mean anything to me anymore, Brock Schumer will get a title shot for the Universal title tonight. And Brock Schumer was smiling at him like, yeah, your ass is mine, bitch. Sami Zayn takes on Jericho. Nice match. This match I was, in, I was interested in for the first time in how long? You know, Seth, uh, Sami Zayn, I should say, versus Jericho was a great, great non-title match. Sami Zayn defeating him with the Haluva kick. Sami Zayn, hopefully, I hope he gets a U.S. title match. If you're not going for the Universal title, then go after the U.S. title because Jericho ain't doing dick. Jericho was just like Roman Reigns. He ain't doing all the hard work that that John Cena put into that title. All of that hard work has been devalued every single chance they get. From Del Rio to Kalisto to fucking Rusev to fucking fucking Roman Reigns and now Jericho. None of those guys have done anything with that US title. Especially Roman Reigns. So we're backstage, fucking Cesaro and Sheamus, uh, you know, talking, complaining about the Royal Rumble, how Sheamus almost got swing and Cesaro almost got eliminated. Bailey came through, gave them a hug, talking about the six-person tag team match later on in the show. And then the champs come through, talking about how, you know, the former champions and, and the number one and the former number one contender, Bailey, is a chump, you know? And the way how those tag titles look on Gallows and Anderson, ooh! Looks so good. My, my, my. I might, I might, I might allow those tag team titles, you know. It's, it's sad. It looks good in real life, but you can't find it good in 2K17 for me, at least. I, I don't know. So, there's talking about Seth Rollins hijacking NXT TakeOver San Antonio this past Saturday night. Stephen McMahon was backstage. Kevin Owens trying to talk her, try, try to talk into canceling the match. Stephanie said that she will. Talk to Foley about getting the match canceled. He thanks her and walks off. That's when my TV, for some fucking reason, freaking froze and went off. I'm like, yo, what's going on? I just missed something. What the fuck is going on? What the commercial break? So we had Tony Nese versus Mustafa Ali. Mustafa Ali lost to Tony Nese within 3 minutes and 46 seconds. I did time it. Yeah, I did. Uh, Tony Nese was being interviewed by Austin Aries. It was hilarious. Austin Aries, as we all know, is a hilarious guy when he's a fucking douchebag. We all know that. And say, knocking uh, Tony Nese for not um, for not having any charisma. You know, his his critics are saying that. Nice was like, I don't have to answer my to my critics, okay? Screw them. And then, yeah. We come back. Rollins and Stephanie McMahon in the ring. Talking about how, you know, Stephanie uh, and, and Triple H brought Seth Rollins into the authority, brought him to the promised land, becoming champion, and then after that, he his knee buckled down and got injured, and then tried to leave, tried to leave the authority, tried to do things on his own. What was the last time he saw championship gold? Was back at Money in the Bank, and then he lost that same night to Dean Ambrose for the WWE title. So then Rollins is like, "Look, man." I'm so and then she's demanding an apology. Rollins is like, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for for Triple H that I'm gonna expose him for being a gutless snake. And for and, and because of his entire uh, his entire legacy is about to go up and go up and smoke because he's not facing me. Okay? He talks about he went to take over where it all started. You know, he went to see he went to take over, called out Triple H, and he had to and Triple H had the security do his dirty work. And like, Rollins wonders who was the guy in the, in the suit. Was it? It wasn't Triple H. It wasn't the game. It wasn't the Cerebral Assassin. It's just a six. It was just a scary dude. It was just a dude that's scared of Seth Rollins. Stephanie says that she's looking at nothing but disgust in Seth Rollins, saying how Rollins does not measure up to the man that Triple H is. You know, he's more than a man. He's a creator. He's a destroyer and a king. Rollins is an architect. And, and Rollins, what are you, an architect? But if he keeps playing the game, he'll be the architect of his own demise. I love that. 
I hate Stephanie McMahon, the character, but at the same time, I gotta give her props with that, that line there. I'm not gonna lie. So Rollins says she doesn't get it. He has nothing to lose. He threatens to show up at WWE headquarters, invade the next board meeting. He'll ask how, how, how Vince McMahon would feel about that, and even says that he'll show up at their front door. See that little one of the little baby kids, their kids will open the door. But it might be, might be, Seth Rollins at the door, you know? So, when he brought up the kids, I was like, okay, that's going a little too far. That's un that's going way too far, Rollins. You need to relax. And then so she's like, you know what? I lied. Triple H is on his way here. And he's on his way. And he's coming to get your ass. He's coming to get you. He's the boogeyman now. So, Rollins is like happy that, that Stephanie said that, and we're going to get Triple H later on the night. Cesaro, Sheamus, and Bailey they take on Gallows, Anderson, and Charlotte. Charlotte gets pinned by Bailey again on Raw. Wow. I don't know what to say about that. Okay, so I didn't see this. So apparently, that, yeah, like I said, I fell asleep when, uh, when after that segment with Rollins and Stephanie. So yeah. So Stephanie went to uh, Mick Foley, is what it says here. She approaches Foley backstage, isn't happy about Braun versus Owen. She'd, she'd ask if he had a brain fart or just purposely forgot to tell her. Foley said that she need to respect the job she hired him for. She brings up how Triple H's music cost Seth Rollins' match last week. She said it was a production error. Foley says he's not stupid and he needs Stephanie to treat him like that. Stephanie doesn't think he's stupid. She says Triple H will be here tonight. It looked like Braun versus Owen is still on. Neville was out here about his about his win over the cruiserweight championship, and no, and uh, Rich Swan came out interrupting him and saying how you know he can't stand the fact that that Neville is on his high horse and how he's calling himself the king and whatnot. You know, try to show him respect, but Neville's like, you need to bow down to your king. And then he's and then when Neville when uh, Rich Swan turned his back, Neville's like, you don't turn your back on your king, and then he start fighting. We go backstage, Sasha Banks and, and Bailey were talking, and now Bailey was trying to tell her, you don't have to do this, you don't have to go compete in this match, and Sasha Banks is like, I need so I have to prove something, I have to prove something to everyone that I'm still the boss, and you know, all that, all that jizz. So Owens is backstage when Jericho informed him in the match, it's still on with Braun Strowman, Jericho reminds him that they have the United States title if something happens, Owens says he needs Jericho's help. Jericho hesitated, saying that, look, man, you weren't there for me when I was competing against Zayn, so... And then Owens is like, you want to you wanna main event WrestleMania? You want to main event WrestleMania with me? Then you need to help me retain the championship. So we go to commercial break, and we come back. Owens versus Braun Strowman. Look, I was... I actually, for some coolest reason, I was like, I could go for a Braun Strowman title reign for some reason. I, I, I could go for that. And then something brought to my attention... Roman Reigns, motherfucker! Roman Reigns! I'm like, okay, yeah, never mind. And I posted, I posted a poll on Twitter. Who wants to bet that Roman Reigns would interfere in this fucking match? So Braun Strowman took out Jericho at, at the commentator table, booted him, and choked him through the table. And then he came out ring. He came to the ring, and then like we beat up Owens for a little bit. And Reigns music hit, and then Reigns interfered. Tried to take down Strowman. He didn't want a spear in the Superman punch. And Braun Strowman still got up. And he took down Owens with a spear also. Brock, Brock Lesnar's in the ring. And Paul Heyman. They're going about Goldberg and Survivor Series. And about but, 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 you know. Andre the Giant was undefeated. But Hogan defeated him. Taker had an undefeated streak at WrestleMania. But Lesnar beat him. So, Heyman's basically saying he hates butts. And, he, and Lesnar challenges Goldberg at WrestleMania. Nia Jax vs. Sasha Banks. Nia Jax defeats Sasha Banks. Done deal. Enzo and Cass defeated Jinder Mahal and Rusev. Done deal. And then we get to the main, we get to the ending. Rollins and Triple H. This segment I was so hyped for. Triple H in the ring for the first time, uh, coming out with the suit, with the King of Kings theme music. Uh, Talking about Rollins, how he molded him into the diamond that he is, and you know, brought him to the promised land, and how he did things, and then Rollins spit him and spit in his face. Rollins was Triple H is mocking Rollins for crying about how, you know, that he didn't win the title, the the Universal title and stuff. He calls out Rollins in the end. Rollins came 
Some dude attacked him. I'm like, who the fuck is that? It's Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe beats the fuck out of Rollins. Doing Triple H's dirty work. And then got with the Coquita clutch in the end. Standing tall. That's Monday Night Raw. Monday Night Raw was fan. Not. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. No, 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 no. Whoa. Relax. Relax there. Relax there, Jim. Relax. It's not fantastic. But this show was. This show went from decent to good now. This show was good. Samoa Joe whooping ass. Three sentons. And then the Coquita clutch. Knocking out Rollins and get the job done. Monday Night Raw, in my opinion, 7 out of 10. That is good. 7 out of 10 is good. Because Samoa Joe came through, did the damn thing, and fucked up Seth Rollins. Now, what is going to happen now? Is Samoa Joe going to fight Rollins at, at uh, Fastlane and lose? What is some? There's a lot of questions going on. What is Cena gonna do if if Randy Orton's gonna fight Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania? What is Samoa Joe gonna do if since Rollins and Triple H is gonna happen at WrestleMania? What is gonna happen? We gotta, I, like I said two months ago, we gotta sit down and wait and see what happens. If we don't like it, we say something. If we do like it, we say something positive. Done deal. What do you guys think about Monday Night Raw? Leave your comments down below. Leave. Thoughts below, leave a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And Monday Night Raw Universe Mode is in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'm out all later.